guys, welcome to Double Jam Food Adventures. Should we still call it that? Um, that could be the temporary title. This is our uh, friend Addie. Hello. She's uh, joining us for this really awesome Shabu Shabu Adventure yeah. here in Arcadia. Addie's been kind of like our food guide a little bit. Like when we come to California, she recommends us really good Asian places. And uh, But you actually found this place yourself. I found this place because I was staying at a hotel nearby. And if you guys probably saw from my other channel, I did a video on this place already. But uh, this time for one of our food adventures in LA, I really wanted to take Dan here uh, because I really wanted to show him what turned out to be one of my favorite shabu shabu places in LA. We never did a Japanese food video, so this is perfect. I've been here once actually. It was You've only been fun. here once? Yeah. And from your extensive shabu shabu experience in the Los Angeles area, <laughs> where do you rank this place? Um, I would say like a, a good eight. Eight out of nice. ten. Nice, eight out of ten. Are there any tens though? Um, I don't shop with Pablo enough. Yeah. <laughs> so this, you heard it right here, folks. This could be one of the best places. It's an eight, and there's no tens yet. What's really interesting about Shabu Shabu, at least from what I learned, is the only thing I can kind of compare it against is hot pot, Chinese right. hot pot. And one thing I noticed right away is um, the sauce yes. is different. Because there's sauce no different. sauce stations in Shabu Shabu, right. right? That's right. There is no sauce stations. I mean, that's the first thing you do at Chinese hot pot. You're like, get up, mix your sauce. That's right. So here, they're gonna mix it for us. We're really excited. We're gonna start ordering stuff off the menu. Let's get started. Oh, by the way, I wanna explain something. Okay. Addie is no longer <laughs> sitting with us because Whoa. She's, uh, she's over here. Say hi. Hello. We can't really get the beautiful Addie here as much as we want. Unless we like just have her sit like on this I mean, thing. Addie, you can sit between us. Yeah, and kind yeah of she sure would our... love that. <laughs> she's doing this right now. She's like, go ahead. But anyways, so why we picked this place is obviously it's delicious, but we wanted to pick a place that's kind of fusion because normal shabu shabu places, they just have one broth and it's basically water and kelp, which is seaweed. Wow. And that, and then, and then you, you just put in the ingredients. So when you told me, like when I saw that, there was all these different broths, like insane jambalaya, spicy crab, kimchi broth, tom yum, miso of course, sukiyaki. I was like, I gotta try that. So what did you have last time? Fire crab. All right. I'm gonna probably do the uh, chicken 12 hour. So. I'm signaling to our beautiful waitress here. What's your name? Michelle. Michelle. Yeah. Hi, come say hi, Michelle. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. Hi. So um, I'm gonna get the fire crab, which is awesome, right? That's my favorite. That's your favorite? That's my personal so, favorite. Nice. I'm looking at either the 12 hour, 12 hour chicken or 12 hour beef. I'm assuming that. Those are the two things we don't have. Oh, okay. Yeah. They don't have the 12 hour chicken. Okay, oh, do we need we... to pick the protein or you bring us the broth first? That we no, we gotta get the protein. protein. Oh, okay, all right. You go first. Oh my God, we just ordered so much. Oh, we didn't. So, 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 so this is the ponzu sauce. It's a citrus vinaigrette soy sauce for your veggies. And then this is the goma sauce. At other places, they usually make it with peanut, but we make it with sesame. Our fire crab sauces are here. Yeah. Ooh. I thought it was gonna be redder than that, but when you mix it, it'll be a little red. Oh nice. So that's a fire crab. And that was sukiyaki. And then got the sukiyaki. Sukiyaki. Okay, so we've got the lamb here. Mm -hmm. Pork belly is right over here. Pork belly. Steak cut. Steak. This looks like it's going to be your makoji. What's makoji? Makoji is a flat iron steak. That's uh, our namesake just because uh, we thought it was best because you can cook it well done, you can eat it medium rare, you can almost eat it raw and it tastes good in all states of cooking. Nice. Nice steak tatar. Exactly. And we have the butcher right over here and this uh -huh. is marinated. Comes with the jalapeno ponzu with some wasabi. Over here we have the duo. That's going to be the manager's favorite. The manager's favorite this month is going to be a flat iron with tendon. So where this is the flat iron without, you have flat iron with tendon. Uh, Toro right over here. and. Maybe the New oh, York it looks York, like. Yeah. yeah, that looks like it's the side of New York there. Nice. So you have some lean cuts right here, some fatty meat, tendon, nice all around shabu. This is really good, especially with the marinade. It has some connective tissue, as you can see right over here. And then the lamb, of course. Mike, there's one And more. finally, what do we have here? And at the end rib. Ooh, why does it come on a little board? Oh, you just got the side order. This, Yeah, this is the Wagyu meat. And so in a traditional style, like Kobe beef, served on a wood plank. Uh, you have some nice marbling here, a little bit of heavy fat there, and that's going to add some texture. This meat's going to be so decadent, you're going to appreciate the texture that the fat's going to bring to it. So this is really, really good. I recommend eating this maybe in the traditional sense where you just go swish, swish, swish until it changes color. 
and uh, don't overcook that, please. Do you think we should eat that one first, or the other one first and save that for last? Uh, I'd say save this for last, just okay. because it's so rich and decadent, it has all that fat in it. All right. I'm speechless right oh now. Oh my god, we have so I'm much speechless. food, as you guys can see, as Cameron has graciously pointed out, we basically have a whole cow on our table. Yeah, and also what I love is, like the cuts are really amazing combinations. We almost have like a, a porterhouse cut here, right? Yeah. With the soy line and uh, wherever he said meets the whatever. I'm just like, I'm amazed at what the types of cut they offer. Okay. And also the presentation. Yeah. And also all the little stuff on top. I'm gonna drop this into my soup. Let's let's do it, let's just do it. Um, right. Let's. I'm well, gonna... But here's the thing. This isn't like Chinese hot pot where we just dump all the meat. Right. This is very much like you enjoy each slice. I'm usually a dumper. You guys know I'm usually a dumper. But you're Today, not, I'm yeah. not gonna be a dumper because first of all, I pay a lot of money for this. Right. <laughs> all right, we're ready. We're ready. Um, I'm gonna start dipping this. Yeah, uh, Toro. This is, this is the miniature special, I think. No, Toro, no, right. Yeah. It looks like it's already marinated. Yep. Which is basically, this is really fat. Yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, actually watch this very carefully because I don't want to overcook this like I do everything else in my hot pot typically. Oh, so eating shab uh, shabu shabu, I think you guys can disregard my lesson about being a dumper. About being a dumper, right. And I'm just doing my regular thing in a hot pot because I'm a dipper, so uh -huh. this comes second hand to me. Mike probably has to recall some of those yeah, dipping I'm, skills. I'm, I'm literally like trying to like... Here we go. First, first try. Oh my god. I don't dip this in anything. Let me try you this bell sauce. You don't need to. It's amazing. Would you please slap Bam. me? Okay. It's because fatty, it's beefy. That's how good it is. I don't know why I need someone to slap me when it doesn't taste good, but... This is the manager's. The manager's is flat iron with tendon. Yo, I just tried the manager's cup. Unbelievable. Oh Less fat, but the meat is like a filet mignon. Oh I God. think they're all going to be so, so tender. Ridiculous. ridiculous. That Toro is ridiculous. I need to order another one of those Toro things. Hey, speaking of Toro, how many of you guys can get this? Burr, it's cold in here. I need some twirls in the atmosphere. No one got that? Great movie, great movie from the 90s, if you guys remember. Bring it on! Eddie, did you know that? Yeah. Oh, nice. Look how beautiful, I just wanna say, look how beautiful this meat is. Um, which cut is this again? This is the flat iron, right? Mm -hmm. Man manager's cut, flat iron. Tender. This is the first time I, I had a hot pot thing Ooh. without having to dip in sauce. Oh, well, you, you can't dip it in sauce. I don't even know why, I mean, this is I'm gonna dip sauce, it but. because the sauce is there, but I didn't need to because it was already so flavorful. Can I just tell you? This manager's cut is amazing. The flat iron, it's it's so beefy. Like each different cut, there's different levels of beefiness, mm -hmm. chewiness, fattiness. Um, so now the New York strip. The New York strip, of course, is the um, part of the uh, the porterhouse, the, the T-bone. If you guys know your steak cuts, it's lean, a little bit of fat, less than the ribeye. Oh my god. Oh, I can't even. I can't even talk right now. And I'm just gonna dump all my veggies in. I didn't think that like, like lean meat without a lot of fat could be that tender. I agree. What's what is this? That's the butcher butcher's cut. cut. So it's butcher's got cut. some of the sirloin and tender. I mean, I don't. Honestly, and there's a I don't special even... sauce for this right here. Yeah. Oh, there's wasabi here. I'm gonna mix it up. So the special sauce looks like uh, garlic, uh, jalapeno, onions, and wasabi. And I think my manager's cut is done. Oh man, I'm gonna dip it in this special sauce they provide here you go this is oh this is i don't, I don't need the sauce this you, is a special sauce you i know but they brought it just i for, know whatever. yeah i know but i i just like my meat untouched so how is it by the way why is it that when i have something really good i'm gonna stab my chopstick into my head or something oh my God. because okay i love the sauce because i love wasabi anything with wasabi makes it better i think unless you have too much wasabi and you just want to what you're saying is wasabi equals winner i think that's what you're saying next Lamb. Um, I'm try the lamb. The lamb. Okay. And you know, like, I, I can already tell I'm gonna like it, but you know, lamb isn't my favorite. But this is another great thing I love about dipping. The, the cuts of meat is so good, you really can't like. You gotta put this in for only like 20 seconds, otherwise it's overdone. 20 seconds. I'm thinking like five. Mi 10. Mi yeah, maybe 10. I can't. Because it's so thin. This meat is so thin. Look, it's already. Can't yeah. Actually, you know what? I'll try. It's with already my done. lamb, I'll try the wasabi with my lamb. Oh, you know what sauce I've been neglecting is this yeah. uh, sesame sauce. Oh, right you right have, right. huh? I, I, I remember loving it the last time. You I have, just huh? Just coated with Wait, it. Where's the uh, wasabi? No, the wasabi's gone, buddy. Oh, it's all gone? Yeah. Oh, there it is. It's inside that sauce already. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
That's the lamp? What? Wait a minute. Okay, that's not like any lamb I've ever had. You know why? Why that? Lamb in a Chinese hot pot, I teach you guys not. You boil it, it turns tough. Yeah, it's so it's tougher. It's tougher to and, chew. And you can taste the lamb. Oh my god. That actually makes me like lamb. You know, I don't like lamb because it, it's like eating like kangaroo. Wow. It's too tough. Oh my god, that, that was the tenderest lamb I've ever had in my life. I kid you guys not. So, uh, pork. Pork belly. Yes. There you yes, go. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, can I just say how beautiful, how beautiful, how beautiful is this pork belly? Look how beautiful it is. This pork is done. Pork is done. Now, pork, I'm gonna put some sesame sauce on my pork because pork inherently, it's kind of porky. No, oink, oink. That was so good. This is the, what is that? Which one is this? Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, how many more add-ons? I think we're gonna add on some more meat we're after add this, right? Meat. Definitely. This is why you cannot go to non all you can yeah. eat, because we're gonna eat like $500. Yeah, this meat. is why. This is exactly yeah, why I told that. you guys Beautiful. not to come to all you can eat hot pots or anything else, because you end up spending a lot of money. But you know what? It's a beautiful meal, I'm gonna do it. Hey, I mean, we only come to LA like seven times a year, right? <laughs> well, Just who kidding. knows after this time? How long will how long it'll be until we come back? So awesome. And I love how our vegetables are just stewing in yeah. there. It's like a delicious stew. This is another different cut. I forgot what this is. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. Before our final piece of awesome cut of beef. Yeah. We're going to try the same. Okay. And this is something our wonderful waitress, Michelle, suggested us. Look, I mean, my salmon is swimming in my soup. I mean, it's mingling with the crab. Yo, stop mingling with the crab. Oh, it's falling apart. I could do too much. Yeah, oh, no. I cooked it too I much. I too much. I'm gonna try it just on its own. Oh my God, it's so tender. All right. Oh, wow. Sorry, let me make a question. I do like boiled fish. It's mm -hmm. just that I don't, the, I, it doesn't live up to my expectations. Right. But this one does. Oh my God. It's so good. Right, are it's we ready for the finale? Yeah, I think we are. Let's not call it a finale. We should call it the best piece of meat on this table that we will order more of later. So the Wagyu, first of all, oh, look how beautiful this, wood block. I mean, this is like, beautiful. I'm here, so here's your Wagyu. Okay. And he suggests medium rare. Medium rare. I'm gonna listen to him, medium. I'm doing medium, because I like medium. Actually, mine just turned into medium. I just like, I could do medium rare. Okay. It just turned into medium, but right, anyways. Let's do this without the sauce. I need to have a moment. I love you. This is the only beef where I actually taste butter. You know how people say it's buttery. And honestly, if you saw, if like, if you saute it, if you grill it or saute it, it's marinated. You can't really taste the butteriness. I can't describe this right now because I'm having such a good time, like enjoying its company. Unbelievable. Oh my god. I'm gonna remember this meal forever. I feel really good about this. I think we need to add on more stuff. I'm going to order more veggies. No, you get more right. veggies because Addie's not in her head. She wants more veggies. Yes. Okay, Go let's ahead. do a percentage check yeah. right now. This is something you guys got to do at Hot Pot. Yeah. Percentage check right now, 20% full. What do you think? Really? 15. 15? No, 50. 50, really? 5 0. Okay, what about, what about you, Addie? 50. Okay, what do you think, Addie? I think I'm gonna have to bump up my rating from an eight to like a nine point five. Really? I'll leave the point five for a future shabu shabu place. It's over. We finished everything. Every single piece of meat, every single vegetable. Oh, wait, wait, no, we have one more thing coming. Hey, Michelle. Hi. It's gonna make us squid ink rice. That's what she does. Oh, that's Can you talk us through this, Michelle? Squid. Play by play. So I'm just taking most of your broth out right now. The rice is going in the soup face. Do you have your own squid back in the kitchen? That's a secret I'll never tell. I'm seeing a very liquidy consistency, which I assume with the heat, it's gonna become very uh, clumpy and porridgey. You guys want green onions? Yeah, green onions, please. So some color is going in. Oh, yes. Some garlic is going in. In goes some sesame oil. Not yet, the egg first. Oh, egg first, look at this. Egg is going in. Oh, it's showing it. Now the liquid is becoming more, more thick because of the egg. And in goes some sesame oil. Whew, I can smell the sesame oil right now. 
This is our squid ink risotto. Addie's gonna have the first taste. She's gonna wipe off all the residue on her spoon as to not interfere with the taste. Yes, Neil? Yeah. Know what you <laughs> squid ink. Squid spit. Oh my god. Amazing. It's like eating an ocean risotto. Because you have the crabby flavor from before. Mm. The squid inky flavor. You taste mm. the squid ink? Yeah. I mean it, it's a it's a taste that I don't know what it is. So yeah. squid ink. Yeah. Spicy. I, I think I think it's a little spicy. I That's not just from the broth. I think the squid ink is a little spicy. That was an unbelievable meal. Yeah. Um, that was unbelievable. There was something I wanted to say, and, and it was so good that I don't even, I, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, so what was your favorite part of the meal, Addy? I think the meat. Wow. Gotta be the meat. Which one? Still the taro. Uh, taro? Yeah. I really enjoyed the taro. Yeah, the fatty. Yeah. The fattiest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, mine was probably the butchers. Yeah. Because to me, it was the most like, I want the flavor of meat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can I just say, I never enjoyed a cow so much before in my life than today. Like, we had so many different cuts, and I honestly enjoyed them all, maybe equally, because even the t pieces that weren't as tender, they were still very tender. Oh, they were so, I right? mean, like, they were so tender. The, it's just the other ones were tender. -er. tender. The yeah. lamb was out of this world. I never had lamb that tender before in my it life. Awesome. Right? Even the, the salmon, very good. Uh, risotto's fantastic. All right, guys, I have all the information in the description box for you for this place. Check this place out. Uh, at least for me, my favorite Shabu Shabu place. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Thanks, Addy. Thank you. Thank you See you later next time we come to Bye. LA. Bye. Bye.